Hey everyone, Andy here in the Abel Cine Burbanks showroom, and today I'm going to show you how to use the uh, F55 to produce a RAW and HD clip at the same time for an online and offline workflow, right? So the camera uh, can re has the ability to record both RAW on the R5 recorder and HD internally on S-by-S cards. That's both the F5 and the F55, by the way. So the camera can do this, and this is a great option because that means I can edit my HD material in a nice small format, and then when I'm done editing, up the update, uh, send that into a color grading uh, application for high quality 4K output. So this is a great set setup and uh, a nice advantage of the F55 and F5 cameras. So what I'm going to do is set up this up in the camera here, show you how to do it in the menus, and then in the next video we'll do a quick uh, online offline workflow demo in post. So. Let's go into the cameras here and check it out. Uh, how to set this up first is to turn on the RAW recorder by enabling the Cine EI mode of the camera. So that's in, in this base settings menu here under system settings. And the first thing is shooting mode, Cine EI. So this, this enables the R5. Without this, uh, you won't be able to get RAW at all. And, with, and you won't even have the option unless you have the R5 on there. So Cine EI is on, main operation set to RAW, great. Now we have to set uh, under record format the HD recording that we get internally. So uh, I prefer this MPEG format because it's small, lightweight, 50 megabits per second. It's a great proxy material and pretty much anything can edit this. So I like this format, MPEG 1080. You could do XAVC as well in this case, but for proxy work it's very nice, great. Next up, I want to set the naming conventions on the, on the camera as well as the R5 for uh, HD and, and RAW at the same time. We want these two names to match up. So what we have to do under the Axis Recorder here is set the clip naming to be linked, right? This is, what this is going to do is grab the naming convention from the camera and bring it onto the R5. So every clip I produce on the R5 will have the same name as the HD recording. Now the naming internally is not adjustable just yet. It's going to be just the word clip and then a number, but we will see that improved in a future update. From here, uh, we have to go uh, and turn on a couple different things. Namely, we want to set up uh, a lookup table to be on the HD recording. And also, we have to make sure that when we hit the record button, it actually records in both places. So we're going to get out of this menu here, back. And first, we'll enable the lookup table on the video output menu, monitor LUT, LUT and then turn on the monitor LUT. Notice when I do that, you see the cut image change behind the uh, menus there. This is a very important option because it, not only are you improving your lookup tables or the, the, the output of your camera, but also the HD recording will get this monitor LUT built into it, baked into it. So that means your offline will look pretty nice when you go through post. So very nice and important option. Go from there. And then finally, we need to set up in the recording menu here the record control parameter, which enables both raw and and uh, HD recording at the same time. Otherwise, it's just one or the other. Uh, so I'll go to S by S and RAW. And just like that, we're set. Great. Now, with those, all, all those parameters set up, we're ready to go for RAW and HD recording at the same time. Uh, I'm going to go walk around the office here, grab some shots, and we'll bring it into post. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.